In this third international conference we are discussing about the impact of AI on us, human beings, in individual as well as in social respect. The title of session 3, Revolutionize AI, sounds on one side like an imperative that we should join the global transformation driven by AI with the spirit of revolutionary at the frontier of this process. A second look at the title, however, would remind you a message in another direction that it is us, humans, and not the AI or intelligent machines who shall make the world which we live in. If needed, thus, we ought to change the properties of AI that influences our lives. Seven interesting talks delivered by scholars from six countries are discussing varied aspects of the problems with AI, from the both perspectives of as and ought. You are welcome to enjoy them. David Cerny Czech Academy of Sciences deals in his talk, Age, AVs and Discrimination, with the problem of potential discrimination which might be applied by autonomous vehicles in a critical either-or situation. By a theoretical approach, starting with a formal definition of discrimination, he tries to show that it is no discrimination if the AV decides the victims on the ground of their age. Filippo Santoni de Cio, Delft University of Technology, delivers a talk titled, Moral Control Over AI, What It Is and Why It Matters. He thereby reminds us the significance of the human control over the sophisticated technologies like AI and presents us a systematic analysis of potential problems accompanying the development of AI, including accountability gaps and responsibility gaps. In his 10 minutes talk, The Socio-Technical Design of Trustworthy AI, Jeffrey Koch Wei Chan, Singapore University of Technology and Design, discusses how we could make trustworthy AI. For this, he analyzes the notion of trustworthiness and examines the ethics guidelines for trustworthy AI issued by the European Commission in 2019. In his talk, AI and the Constitution of the Future, How Can AI Revolutionize Our Social Moral Order? John Danaher, National University of Ireland, invites us to think about our own future in which three types of intelligence, individual intelligence, collective intelligence, and artificial intelligence, shall interact and together constitute the basic conditions of human lives. He shows that the value system of human society has been changing and emphasizes that it is necessary to have outlook for the way how AI will change our value system. Luisa Damiano, University of Messina, discusses the problems with SAR, socially assistive robotics, from philosophical viewpoint. She analyzes the structure and ontological characteristics of artificial empathy, where she refers to Damiano's relevant works on the topic. According to Damiano and Damiano, empathy is not an event occurring within an individual, but a mode of inter-individual coordination. Sasa Horvat, University of Zagreb, delivers a talk. Love All, Trust a Few, on Human Relations with AI, which is a title conveying presenter's message. He discusses the relationship we humans build with AIs, focusing on the topic of, trustworthy AI. Distinguishing trust from reliance, he analyzes the real structure of our trust in AI and maintains that it is delegated trust in people behind the product, not blindfolded trust in the black box. Robin Kopecki Carol Kapik Center referring recent studies on the uncanny valley and psychological philosophical discussions about the mental state of robots gives a report on the process and results of a set of psychological experiments in which children and young people were asked to ascribe several mental aspects perception thinking emotion etc and life and soul to the figures that represent various robotic beings <laughs> 